I have opinions on stuff, and I haven't said a lot about Garrison's passing since on Sister Wives. But yesterday on Instagram, I saw the video you've probably already seen of um, Christine sharing that she has to keep working and that people have been kind of critical of her, that she's devastated by Garrison's loss, but she has to keep working. As somebody who lost her mom a week ago, I totally understand this. And it's a difficult thing to navigate where I have to keep making content because I have to pay bills and stuff, but I also feel weird about it because I'm deeply grieving and stuff. And I do enjoy making the content and it's such a nice relief to have something to dive into my work. And it's not not the only work I do. I also do coaching of authors and I write novels and stuff like that. So I'm doing other work other than just content. But I find that to be a little bit of a relief to get away from all my feelings and, and dive into some work. And I'm guessing Christine feels the same, but there were some pretty wild responses there were some pretty wild responses to both her initial post where people were saying things like, how dare you talk about your B&B? How dare you do this? How dare you do that? Um, and in response to that specific thing, and I want to talk about, like I saw someone on Reddit who said she does not even related to Garrison. She shouldn't be acting like she cares. You know, she wasn't related to him. And then followed up with comments about like, she, when people said, like, are you insane? They were like, well, she didn't raise him. Aspen and Logan did. Now, there's a lot of valid reasons to talk about Logan and Aspen and some of the older kids' parentification. But to imply that Christine, in fact, who homeschooled many of these kids, it sounds like she homeschooled them until roughly when the show started. She was doing homeschool and then a homeschool co-op through their church, which is still involves a lot of, if it's anything like any of the other homeschool co-ops, which were very common in my area. <clears throat> and I taught, when I was taught at a university, I taught many of the kids who came from them. They were more like college where they would go in for some classes and they still did a majority at home. So she was homeschooling those kids. Um, and to imply that because she wasn't of blood relation to Garrison, she didn't love Garrison is crazy pants. Because if my husband's sister, my sister-in-law, has children, I will not be a blood relation to them. My children will be a blood relation to them, but I would be devastated if she lost any of her children. I feel like that's crazy. I feel like if your attitude is because she's not blood related to Garrison, she isn't sad. Like you, that is showing a lot about who you are and what your definition of family is. And it's deeply, deeply distressing. And I was so upset by it. I just can't stop thinking about it. So, um, I, I'm not saying Christine's right about everything, and I'm not gonna. I'm certainly not gonna start in on who's to blame for this this tragedy. But I think it's insane that people are going onto her Instagram and being like, "You can't make content. You can't post on um, on Instagram because of this." I mean, there's definitely valid criticisms for the MLM stuff and things like that. But that is a separate conversation about whether or not she has the right to continue working post this tragedy combined with the gall of people saying that she's not really upset. She's not really related to, to Garrison insane to imply that. Um, and I just feel like this has brought out some really crazy opinions from people. And I haven't really commented on a lot because I've been wrapped up in my other stuff and I just had to kind of go off on my gut of what felt appropriate to share and what doesn't, but I definitely feel appropriate to share on this. And the one other thing I'll add on to this is be really careful who you're getting your information because I'm hearing people repeat stuff, not just from influencers, but I mean like from publications. So The Sun is pretty questionable. In Touch has been quoting The Sun. So I've seen people say, oh, the family has said this. And I go back and look and it's like one of the things that they said was, um, was from In Touch magazine, and In Touch is quoting the Sun, and the Sun is quoting a source close to the family. That could be anything. That that could be a lie. Um, the Sun has been putting out articles for a couple years now about how it really kind of skewed towards Cody and, and Robin, and so I don't know if it's someone in their life. I don't know if it's them, but I just would say that until you hear it from. Janelle, Christine, Mary, or even directly from Cody and Robin and not a source close to them, I would just go ahead and assume that nothing has been, um, nothing is written in stone. Does that make sense? That's just my thing. I'm not going to come chase, chase you down or anything. Uh, I'm just reminding people, I guess, of my point of view.